Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a festive necklace for the New Year's Eve. This is 2022 so it's easy to make, there are only two numbers that you need to do. I have a tutorial for 2018 where you could see how I'm making a 1 and an 8 and I'll link it here at the icon to see. So uh, if you want me to show more numbers in the same manner just write me in the comments and uh, I will give you all the numbers in uh, my next upcoming tutorials. Okay so this is shown really easy and slowly and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you could do it by yourself. There are only two steps that I'm showing and I'm making a curve for a straight line it's really easy I promise so I'm sure if you watch my video you will be able to make it I'm using here one of my silver chains jump rings and bales but don't worry if you don't have all of those tabs you could only make the numbers and use uh, beaded loops and attach them on the Christmas tree or somewhere else or on a beaded chain that you could make and there are a lot of tutorials for beaded chain so if you don't have chains and these metal elements, let this not stop you of making it. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week, and you will be inspired often. And down there, in, and you could also like, share and comment, and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all of my social networks and link to my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips that you might also want to check out. Okay guys so now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are these super duo beads. Depending on the manufacturer, they could be called twin beads as well. These are those beautiful two-hole beads, as you may see. These are Eto beads in white color. Here I use four jump rings and four bales, and here I use a chain. Okay, you could skip all of those stuff and make everything with beads and there are a lot of tutorial how to make a beaded chain or a beaded rope and uh, then you could attach the numbers directly on this chain if you want but now I'm going to show it with a chain just to be more like festive and you know uh, like celebrating the new year and so on and here I use monofilament this is size 10 beading needle scissors and you will use pliers to attach those wire stuff if you use them of course. Okay so now I'm going to take two feet of thread on my needle which is about 60 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up a super duo, a NATO and a super duo. I will slide those down and then I will go in the other direction through the empty hole of this super duo holding my tail thread and through the other empty hole of the other super duo just like this and I pull and after I pull I have this okay now I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot here just like this okay so now I have this and what I want to do is go here from this side and pull this knot to hide inside those uh, holes here okay so the knot is hidden here after I pull okay and now I take one more twin bead I slide it down and here between those two beads I will add only one of these beautiful atos 
Okay, I take it. I go back through this twin like this. And then what I do is that I go back through those two super dough beads, okay? And now in the same manner, I'm going to add three more of those beautiful super dough beads. Okay guys, now I have this and I will turn my work in this direction because it's easier for me. And now I'm going to start similar thing, but this time I will be separating my super dew beads with two beads because here I have a curve and now I want a straight line. That is why I'm adding one HO, one super dew. Slide those down to my work. Then again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going through the empty hole of the last twin that I added here. Okay, I have this. And now it's time to take one more ato and go back through this super dew bit. And then again, in this direction, I want to go through this super dew, through the ato, and through the last super do or twin beads that I added. Okay, now I'm exiting here and what I want to take is one A2, slide it down, take one, slide it down, then go in this direction, one, go back, okay, like this, then go back in this direction, okay. Now guys, add two more beads the same way, separated by two HOs and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I did these next two rows. I added two super do beads separated by two white atos okay and now what i want to do is take one slide it down then one super do slide it down then i will go back through the empty hole of this super do like i did before through the previous super do i'm turning my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed and always turn the, your work the way it's easier for you. Okay, and here you see what I'm having. I'm having this beautiful curve. I take one A2, slide it down, one super do, slide it down, go through the empty hole of this super do, and through the previous two super dos in this direction and pull. Then go back through this super do again and through this ato. And here what I want to do is make my curve. And in order to do this, I'm taking three atos, exiting out of one of the atos, I'm going through the other one. And this is what I have. And now, guys, in this direction, I'm adding more of those super do beads, separated by two atos this time to make a straight line. When I separate them with one ato, I make a curve. 
When I separate them with two HOs, I have a straight line. Okay guys, and now this number is ready and what I want to do is go one more time through all of those bits at the edges and exit here again. And I'll do this off camera just to reinforce my work and then I'll be back to tell you how to make a knot and cut your thread. Okay, and I went around through all of my bits and I'm exiting here at the same place. And here what I want to do is make a knot. Of course this reinforcement is not obligatory, you could do it or not, it depends on you. I'm doing it because I prefer to do it this way, okay? So now, after I make a loop here, I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull, okay? After I pull, I could make some more and more knots. And after I'm ready with the last knot, I go through one or two beats after the knot. And then I cut my thread as, as close as possible to my work. You could also use zippers if you want. Okay, and now my two is ready. And what I need to do is an O. And how I'm making the O or the zero in my ear number, okay, I will make it the same way. similar way I mean, using those two techniques, super do bit separated by one or by two atos, making a straight line and a curve. Okay, first I have this and I'm going back through this one, holding my tail thread. You could you do with this with a stopper bit, but now I'm doing it like this. I hope you don't mind. Okay, now I have this, I will stick my needle in my mat and I will make a knot. Okay, uh, take two or two and a half feet of thread, which is 60 or 75 centimeters, depending on how much you want to reinforce, you will need less or more thread. Okay, so now guys, what I want to do is go back here and when I pull my knot heights inside here that is why what I want to do is cut this tail thread okay like this now guys I will continue my work okay and I will show you one more time and let you add five more. Super just the same way. Okay. Five in total, I mean. So it's three more. Super just the same way. Okay. I'm going like this, then through the empty hole. Then I'm taking one more. Going here through the empty hole of the previous bit. Then again, I'm going in this direction. Okay, now I have this and I will continue this by adding two more super duos and I'll be back. Okay guys, so now I have this. And now what I want to take is one super duo. I'm sliding it down like this. Then I go through its empty hole and because I'm making an angle, I'm making, I'm adding only one ato here, making an angle to the inner side of my O. That is why I'm putting an ato at the outer side. Okay, one more time. Go back here. A NATO.
okay and here I'm finished with the angle that is why I want to add a straight line which is with two atos between my twin beads or super dual beads so here it is what I do and now I'm taking a NATO sliding it down going through its empty hole taking one going back like this and I will do one more okay I have my angle and from here on guess what I'm doing a straight line okay and repeat this straight line here it consists of one two three more super do separated by two a toes. okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. okay now I have this the same thing from here and I now I need to close it I think you intuitively will be able to do this first I take one a toe slide it down go through the empty hole in this direction take one a, sorry first you take super do then a toe of course you know it and then I go back here and I add one more angle I add two angle beads here and now a straight line Okay, now another angle. And pay attention here at my last step, guys. I'm not adding another one. I'm using this one that's already there. I'm going here like that and all I need to do at my last step is to add one HO here at the angle and I will be ready of course now you could do reinforcement outside inside and then make a knot the same way I showed you with the two and when you're ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next hey guys now I have this but I need two more number two and that is why I did it off camera if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video to the first part where I'm showing this one and you will be able to do this and then in my next step what I want to do is open this jump ring and what I do is that I put it here at the two and then what I do is that I squeeze back like this okay now I'll repeat it with the other numbers and I'll be back okay guys and after I attached all of the jump rings here what I need to do is take these small bales here okay and I will take them and put them like this you see what I have here then I'll take my chain and you see here I have a little hole 
and I squeeze it. Just to remind you one more time, it's not obligatory to uh, use a chain here. Uh, you could uh, you could use a beading uh, rope or a beaded chain and just attach it with beads, all of those, and not use any wire accessories. But now I want to show you this one. I'm using one of my silver chains. You could use uh, not a silver, but regular, of course. And I will put it this for the new year. Then I will remove it and then put back my my heart here okay so now what i do is that i skip one of those holes and i will put it on my next hole like this okay and i will continue this two more times and i'll be back to show you what's coming up next okay guys and when i attached all of those elements the, sh the same way i showed you now i have my 2021 necklace ready it's easy to make i have a tutorial of how to make 2018 so from there you could see a one and an eight and tell me if you want to show you more and more numbers uh, in my tutorials tell me in the comments if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make new tutorials usually two times a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my second channel bijutel fast clips a link to all of my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials a link for paypal donations link to my store thank you so much for watching bye bye from me